Hi, welcome back to Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. Today our passage is Mark chapter 2 verse 18 through to chapter 3 verse 6. As always, there's a link to an online Bible in the video description. Just click it and it will take you to the passage for today. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word Christianity? Maybe it's a church building, old or new. Maybe a ceremony that you've seen or heard of. Maybe it's rules and regulations, do's and don'ts that you think Christians hold to and believe. Now, those things will always be there in varying degrees. Wherever you go and you find Christians and you find churches, there will be traditions and ceremonies and, and ways of living that, that they will hold to. But the passage that we're going to look at today reminds us that those aren't the centre of Christianity. They aren't the big thing that it's all about. Now, in this passage, there are three questions. The first is asked by the crowd. They come to Jesus and say, why aren't your disciples fasting? Now, what's fasting? Well, when you fast, you don't eat. And instead, you pray and you seek God. And the religious people of Jesus' day, the disciples of the Pharisees, the disciples of John the Baptist, they fasted regularly. In fact, the disciples of the Pharisees would fast every Monday and every Thursday. But Jesus' disciples didn't fast. And so the people were asking a question, what did that mean? Is fasting wrong? Or are the disciples just not bothered about doing what's right in God's sight? Well, this is how Jesus replied to that question. Jesus answered, how can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. Now, what's Jesus saying here? He's not saying that fasting is bad. What he's saying is it's not the biggest thing in the Christian life. What's the biggest thing? Well, it's spending time with Jesus. The centre of Christianity is not traditions and ceremonies. The centre of Christianity is Jesus. Well, that brings us on to the second question. This time it's the Pharisees who ask it. And they asked Jesus, why are his disciples picking grain on a Sabbath? Now, what's the Sabbath? Well, a Sabbath was the Saturday. And in the Old Testament, God said to his people that every Saturday they were to set the day aside as a special day of worship and rest. They weren't to work, but they were to rest from their work and they were to worship him. And the Pharisees had come up with all kinds of rules that defined how you should keep the Sabbath. And they had 39 things that you were not allowed to do. And number three on that list was reaping grain. And here's Jesus with his disciples. They're walking through a grain field. I don't know how you imagine it, but to me, the Pharisees are, are like the clipboard people. They're there with their clipboards, just checking that Jesus and his disciples do everything right. And then the disciples reach out and they take a little handful of grain or an ear of grain and they thresh it in their hands and then they eat the corn. And the Pharisees come down on them like a ton of bricks. How does Jesus reply? Well, we see in verse 27, he says this, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So his first part of his reply is to say that you've misunderstood the Sabbath rules. By making all those regulations, by making it difficult, you've made it something it's not meant to be. God gave this rule, God gave this law for good, not to burden and imprison people. But then he goes on in verse 28. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. What's Jesus saying there? Well, for the Pharisees, what was the big thing in their life? What was it that they wanted to obey and to do? They wanted to keep their rules. But Jesus says, if you want to be a Christian, the most important thing you can do is to recognise that Jesus is Lord and obey and follow him. See, the centre of Christianity is not the rules that we make, but it's Jesus and following him. And then we have the third question. Jesus one day comes to a synagogue. It's a Sabbath again, and a trap has been set for him. We read in chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. 
Another time Jesus came into the synagogue and a man with a shriveled hand was there. So a man who had a hand that had shriveled up, there was something wrong with him. Some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So some of the leaders there, particularly the Pharisees, were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus. So they watched him closely to see if he would heal him on the Sabbath. What was Jesus going to do? Well, Jesus got the man to stand up and then he asked this question. Which is lawful on the Sabbath, to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? What does God want you to do, he says. Your rules, if I was to keep them, this man with the shriveled hand, well, he would walk out with a shriveled hand. But is that really what God wants me to do? The Bible tells us God is good, so surely God wants us to do good things on the Sabbath. Again, Jesus is challenging the Pharisees here. He's challenging what they see as important. What's at the centre? Is it the rules and traditions that we have? No. It's serving and following God. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, I hope it's this. That at the centre of Christianity, at the centre of the Christian life, is God. A God that we can know through Jesus. That Christianity is not just a religion of regulations, but it is a dynamic relationship with the living God. There is something incredible about being a Christian. Well, we'll do more next time in Step by Step through Mark's Gospel. If you want to be notified when the next video comes out, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page. Hopefully, I'll see you then.